mild dilemma. The first part of the video, my intro is actually recorded with the microphone off, and that also uh, carried on to the next two clips. So, yeah, there might be a bit of an inconsistency. So, yeah, ignore that. Anyway, in today's video, we're going to be doing more work on the base. Hope you enjoy. We built some cool concrete converters, and we get a huge amount of progress done with the rim, as you can see behind me. But I don't want to spoil too much. So, yeah, hope you enjoy, and be sure to subscribe and like if you do. The next part of the base has been completed. Um, oh yeah, I'll talk about this later. Uh, we now have like a four-headed plankton from SpongeBob. We have these huge antennas going out of all sides. And they are all the same length, I believe. If I build this correctly, then it should be the same length on all sides. Looks like it, yeah. And it doesn't even all load in for me, which is funny. But that's that. And now, our goal is to fill this inside space up, which is going to take so much concrete. Which means they're going to have to make one of those quick little concrete farms where you can just, you know, mine it while it turns into concrete. Because I can't place powder, it's going to fall. So, yeah, that's going to be done right about now. Also, side note, um, there's this thing, which is just popped up on my island. And it's weird, I'm going to destroy it now. But it was a Hero Brian ritual temple thing, and I don't even know. So we're just gonna take a screenshot of that. Oh, I guess hurt berries. Okay, whatever. There we go. Boom, and we're just gonna break that up because I don't know what this is. But apparently, there's no escape. It's inevitable. You no running from your problems. Apparently, uh, Hero Brian is stalking me. I mean, thanks for the glowstone, bud. I love that. But apparently, I cannot do anything about this because he killed Jorge. If you guys don't know, Jorge is my mending villager, and uh, here Brian killed him, which is super unfortunate. But we got gold blocks out of that, so that's pretty sick. Uh, I, I, why? Why would you kill Jorge? Look, there's even a sign. You can't. You can't run. It's only stage one. I, I can't believe Jorge died. And I know this is just a prank, but it pisses me off when you kill an innocent person just from a prank. Because you know. Nobody likes being a murder victim. It's unpleasant at best, but it gets worse. So, yeah, I'm going to try to focus on my base, but if things get too out of hand with the pranker, we're going to have to do something about it. Okay, these guys in the chat are just talking about how much they're getting hit and blocks are breaking. This can mean two things. One, um, they're trying to prank me. They're going to try to blame it on me. And they're because they're both they're both on it. They're like both like they legitimately they're in on it. That's what I mean. Or two, two. Um, they're trying to convince me that here Brian is real, which means Digital is in on the prank, which sucks because I thought I liked Digital. But whatever, we're gonna focus on something else for the time being because our concern is not of their mishap or whatever. Our concern is the concrete, and that is what we're going to focus on for the time being. Alright, so the first thing is done, and I can, let's see how it looks from the bottom, because I'm curious. And the answer is, it looks cool! That's not half bad, if I do say so myself. And it looks very nice. It's going to look even better when we have the whole platform completed, but for now... This looks sick, and I love what we're doing with it. It does look a bit thin, though, which is my only concern. But, apart from that, it looks absolutely astounding. So, we're going to stick onto that feeling and just prepare for the platform. The platform is going to make it all look worth it, because right now it looks weird, and I accept that. But, the platform is going to make it look awesome. Um, That took longer than I expected. I don't want to admit how long it took me. But we have all of them finished, and we have a new ring around the top of the structure to make it look more stable, because it does look kind of weird. But it also looks kind of awesome, and I love what we got going on here. And what I think I'm going to do before I start the actual platform, I'm going to extend the glass tube through the center of the structure, and then have some little glass walls outlining these um, antenna. And yeah, we're going to see how that looks. I'm kind of experimenting with this. Oh, not glass tube. Oh, that might be an issue. I was going to extend a glass tube up through the top, but I might as well extend this spirally thing. But first, I'm going to put glass walls and just see how that looks. 
So, regretfully, I am out of grey concrete, which means I cannot actually extend this middle part. However, I was able to put all the glass walls around relatively quickly, so that was pretty cool. And it looks pretty sick. Um, I like the vase kind of shape, and it definitely has a really nice effect. Like a foggy effect, from what I can see at least. But now I have to get more grey concrete before I actually start the platform, because the platform is going to be an awful part. I have so much cyan concrete, because I have a cactus farm, as you know. But... I need to make it all into solid concrete before I place it. That means I have a bunch of powder, really. Uh, it's gonna take ages. Guys, I think I'm a genius. So, there is this issue of concrete placing. So, I have the towers, as you guys know, all filled out with the glass and everything. But now I have to place a cyan concrete to make this ginormous platform. However, doing this with like a million stacks of concrete, just um, if I were to uh, get some powder, I would demonstrate it. But I would just continuously mine this, and it would be so annoying to continuously mine that because then I'm just going to have to place it. So, I thought to myself, I when I was building up the side of the structure, like the concrete tube in the middle, the gray concrete, what I did was that I placed the concrete powder and then I placed water, and so I wanted to do a similar thing for the f to the for the uh, platform. However, I can't do that because if I place the powder, it's just gonna fall off the edge, which is a severe issue. So, obviously, I had to think of a way, a clever way, of course, to place the concrete and then get rid of the blocks underneath it. I thought of string, but it's gonna look really and it's gonna be really annoying to get rid of all the blocks underneath it. All like, to get rid of all the string once I'm done using it. And then I had a stroke of genius. I use scaffolding. Uh, Sten12 gave me some bamboo a little while ago, and I still treasure it. And I made a zero tick bamboo farm, as you could see previously in the clip. However, what I figured out I can do, all I gotta do is I'm just going to demonstrate this with some concrete powder right here that I have. That's scaffolding. That's scaffolding. This is concrete powder. If I just grab this and I just go just like uh, that, yep, I can go out however many blocks I want. Of course, I will need the occasional block, which is why I'm going to actually have to use string frick. But I can actually just place the powder like this. I can let it solidify. And then once I'm done with the concrete, I can just boom, and everything falls. I mean, with the scaffold. Everything just falls down, and I don't have to clean the blocks up, which is sick. And now I have to get that, or else it's going to be really bad. Oh, hell no! Ta! <laughs> I landed on the concrete. Oh, my God. You know the concrete hardened? I landed on it right as it hardened. I don't want to talk about it, man. I have to get that stuff. That was 40 levels right there lost to the concrete uh, got got items that was easy oh my god that was so stupid I just placed the up there it is there's the death spot all the co I didn't think it would harden bro I just landed right on that I just plooped okay well that was an experience that I will remember forever and now I gotta go get more levels because there's no way I'm walking around with seven levels like a freaking normie I gotta get that 43 level hype again, which means that's another visit to the XP farm. Anyway, that actually covers that. I hope there's no more items left in here that I just did not do. But I'm gonna try the scaffolding strategy, and I'm gonna tell you guys how it works out. Hopefully it works out well. I don't know. I'm gonna get this concrete powder that actually ended up killing me. You can all see how I died in the episode to all of you Blogcraft members, but I guess that's that. Oh, there's the scaffolding. There's the scaffolding. We did it, boys. The outer rung has been fully built, I believe, and I can just hop off. We're over the Guardian farm. That's how insanely massive this thing is, and it's going to take me a few rockets to actually get around the whole thing. But if I just go around, you can see we now have ourselves a massive, 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 massive circle going around. the. In this is like the circumference of our base. It stretches all the way around. And I can just go higher and higher and higher in hopes that I can show you guys the whole thing. No, it just goes out of distance. What a scam! Anyway, this is the massive thing now completed. And now it's time to fill in all four quadrants with the holy cyan concrete, which I have in these shulker boxes right here and all these shulker boxes right here. 
And yeah, let's get working on it, because this is going to take quite a while, and it's going to take so much scaffolding that's insane. Because I want to delay placing in the cyan concrete as much as possible, I'm going to be placing the slabs first. I got a whole bunch of stone from my mining session, and I'm going to be using it to outline the perimeter. And how many times? Twice. Once in the bottom and once on the top layer, because this perimeter, or circumference, I should say, is going to have to be constructed twice. And yeah, that's going to be interesting, but it's not going to be very hard. It's just going to be tedious because you already have the frame in. Anyway, guys, I'll let you know when it's done. And yeah. Whoa, finally, that took so long, so long <laughs> to figure, finally finish this ring. But we did it. We now have an entire ring with sea lanterns and um, gray concrete all around the entire circumference of the base. And that used up so many resources. But now, since I have finished this, it means it's inevitable we have to work on the dome, uh, the platform. I keep saying dome. Uh, it's gonna take so much concrete to fill this entire space up. No! Well, I guess I better get to it. So I actually worked on it for a while, and I'm sorry if you guys hear the rain outside, it is pouring. But I worked on it for a little while, and the scaffolding method just didn't work. Because of how limitations with scaffolding go, you can only branch out a certain number of blocks. Building the concrete powder with scaffolding just wasn't working. And so I decided I was gonna have to do it by hand, which meant just converting all the powder straight up. But I didn't use that wimpy conversion method, I actually built up this. This right here is actually a concrete converter. Uh, all it does is that a concrete goes through, I put in the powder and it goes through and then it gets exploded. So a very quick converter and now I have tons upon tons of the, of the concrete. I only have a bit done, I don't have a very definite area yet. But we do have this massive portion of the build completed. And this hole is just bugging me right now because that's just got to be fickle. That just gotta be fixed, and here we go, boom, boom, boom. I assume that was a creeper, because I actually died when I went AFK up here, because I don't know why, whatever. So, but I'm gonna have to keep placing all of these blocks by hand. It's gonna suck, but I guess we're just gonna have to live with it, and hopefully it's not too big of a burden. So yeah, this is just how I'm doing it. I'm just going by hand and just quickly placing all these blocks just like that. And I usually go in groups of four, but it kind of depends on the structure of the arc. Anyway, I know you guys don't want to hear that boring stuff, so I'm just going to continue placing blocks. And hopefully we can finish a quadrant, because I've been through a ton of stacks of this stuff, and we're not even halfway done. I, I, th I think we're not halfway done, at least. However, after careful consideration, I figured I wasn't going to able to finish a massive portion and still have time for the video, which means I'm actually going to have to end the episode here. Uh, I know it's kind of unfortunate, but today this is going to be the final bit of the episode. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to try to get more stuff done off camera because I know that nobody wants to see block by block placement. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, if you did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I know this might not be the longest video, but I hope it's not too short either. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Peace.